What is going on guys, Lottery Stocks here. Now I have been particularly bearish on the S&P 500 over the past few months and a lot of people who watch my channel know that I've said multiple times, time and time again, if the S&P 500 doesn't break over 420, a clean break, then I think there is more room to fall and I still stick by that. Although I have been surprised by the previous runs. The SPY ran to 415.93 Friday on market close and this is a video that you're watching right now that you should watch before next week because it can determine exactly how your portfolio goes, whether you're profitable or whether you go into the deep end. So according to David Rosenberg, brace for a recession by September, a 20% plunge in the S&P 500 and a painful credit crunch is about to occur. He sees a near-term recession, a 20% hit to stocks, and a damaging credit crunch ahead. The economist panned the Fed for hiking interest rates and said they could hit zero again. So one of the top economists is basically saying a 20% fall in stocks is coming, a credit crunch is about to happen, and overall, get the hell out. Now, it's not hard to see just taking a look at the historical data through the S&P 500 that from the beginning of summer, at least most of the time towards into September, the market does usually not do too hot. But under these circumstances, it is going to do even worse. Even Elon Musk thinks so as well. Back in November, he stated that the Fed has to really think about cutting rates or it could cause a damaging recession. He then tweeted this today as I'm making this video. Fed data has too much latency. Mild recession is already here. It's not just like the canary in the coal mine SVB died. One of the staunchest miners credit suites died too and the cemetery is filling up fast. Further rate hikes will trigger severe recession. Mark my words. So basically Elon Musk is saying the Fed data that is going to be shown to us is delayed. It's it's not right. We're in a mild recession right now, and if they want to continuously raise rates, we are going to trigger a severe recession. He goes, the cemetery is filling up. You have SVB and Credit Suisse in the cemetery right now. He mentions these major banks, which we're going to get into in a sec. He goes, between Tesla, Starlink, and Twitter, I have more real-time global economic data in one hand than anyone ever. So Elon Musk is definitely someone to pay attention to based off of his opinions. On top of that, sell the S&P 500 when it rises to 4,200, according to Bank of America. America's chief stock strategist. He goes, we stay bearish as the economy looks to set to end 2023 with stress in labor market and weak earnings. S&P 500 was edging towards logging a 20% gain from its bear market low. Now, just to put that into perspective for you, Bank of America is basically stating that the S&P 500 will rise to 4,200. So I pulled up the actual S&P 500 index in front of you instead of the SPY, which we usually chart. This green line is what they are saying the SPY is about to hit, which is exactly what I have been stating time and time again if we don't get a clean break over this level the spy has more room to fall bank of america basically says dude if you don't sell your socks by the time we hit this level which is very very close right now we're basically four dollars away from this then you're going to be in trouble guys real quick before i move on with the video i didn't ask it yet please hit the like button if you find value out of the video and if i deserve it hit the subscribe button it does help me out tremendously also make sure to spam the comments down below with your thoughts on the s p 500 and the overall video to engage the algorithm courtesy of Moomoo, get a chance up to thirty thousand dollars by hitting my link pinned in the description and i'll leave it in the top of comments for you as well download mumu and make a deposit it can literally be a penny to start earning up to 15 free stocks each valued up to two thousand dollars per stock on top of that you're getting free level two order book data access to trading options going long going short and more so make sure to go do that plus guys the link to the discord is under the description as well so you guys don't miss a stock opportunity pop in the discord we also have options trading alerts we post losses post gains talk stocks all day long and i'm in there on the daily so make sure to get in discord under the video let's get back to it bis has updated net market value of banks derivatives positions through Q4 2022 showing the largest quarterly swing in history per available data. Basically the adjustment swings being this rapid whether it's good or bad are not a good sign to see as well as banks continuously collapsing going forward. Now bankruptcy bingo we like to call it we already have Credit Suisse out, SVB, Silvergate, Signature Bank, and FRC out. Some of these are the largest banks in the entire world. Now the one that recently collapsed basically last week, basically two days ago, basically yesterday, was ticker symbol FRC, First Republic Bank. One month ago, 11 banks made 30 billion in deposits into this bank. Since then, they're down over 98%. JP Morgan, 5 billion. Bank of America, 5 billion. Citigroup, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, BNY Mellon, State Street, PNC, US Bank. The list goes on and on. And I'm sorry to say, these banks are left on the list, but have gotten a horrible investment, losing billions of dollars basically in a month. And that is not from withdrawals. 
that is from their own investment strategies. And you know that's not a good thing to see, especially when you see banks like Capital One pushing out these high APY saving account, which shows that they need money very, very fast. Now, on top of the S&P 500 going to fall even further, a credit crunch coming all towards the end of this year, the six month treasury bill is above 5% which means why would you go take on the risk of the overall stock market when you can invest in something that has no risk? The government is going to pay you out 5% on this. So with the average return of the SPY to 8 to 12%, potentially sitting in a recession, potentially the worst bank crisis that has ever occurred, are you going to take that potential 8% or are you going to take that exact 5%, no money loss? You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, in all reality, I could have just made a too long didn't read of this video because Jim Cramer basically stated that the banking crisis is over. And I think you know how that goes. <laughs> now, real quick, guys, if you don't know the inside joke, Jim Cramer always is wrong. Everything is the opposite. So if the banking crisis is over in his eyes, shit's about to go down. But just taking a step away from all of the data, the S&P 500, the charts, war, right? War is occurring. There's stuff going on between China, Russia, Taiwan, Ukraine, the US in general, which is just causing uncertainty over the entire stock market and has always caused uncertainty in the markets in general and has drastically affected them. So for the people who say that that doesn't affect the market, you are completely wrong. This is also something that is is increasingly getting worse hopefully that changes but as of now this is in align with the banking crisis and is on a downward spiral plus just another sprinkle on top the US dollar is just getting obliterated right BRICS community other countries are just ditching the US dollar as a whole they don't want to rely on the US dollar and basically the US who created the US dollar are basically saying yo let's just switch to CBDC right it seems like everybody is boycotting the US dollar uncertainty in currency, uncertainty with war, uncertainty with the overall market is not good for an economy. Uncertainty with inflation, uncertainty with a straight path to see where we are going to go is not good for an overall market. Overall, guys, I think the SPY has to have a clean break over $420 for it to essentially carry on in a bull market. And even then, I will still have doubts and I will still have levels that I will ask myself. But I do see the S&P 500 falling even further, at least from now to September, right? This is just all the data that I've provided to you. My thoughts on the S&P 500, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Every time, so far, at least relatively, when we hit this level right around 415, 416, the SPY either had a hard breakout to the upside and then got smacked very hard, which you saw about two times now, or it just got smacked hard as it is. So either the SPY is tanking as soon as the week starts, or it's going to have a little bit more of a rally and then tank. This is all in my opinion, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I think there is more room to fall on the S&P 500. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know your thoughts on how they are going to raise rates. Again, the FOMC Tuesday, Wednesday rate hikes are expected to be 0.25 BPS rate hike raise. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Overall, hopefully you enjoyed the video or found value out of the video. Of course, make sure to have post notifications on so you guys don't miss an upload. And if if I deserve it, hit the subscribe button, join us on this journey to financial freedom, hit the like button on your way out. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.